Hey, this is Trap Talk Radio. Trap Talk, trap music, and trap possibilities with Madam CJ and Rick D with two C's. Anything else is disrespectful. Right here on In Touch Radio, we alley radio where everyone is a star. And if you haven't already, make sure that you text a friend to text a friend www.in-touchnews.com or www.intouchnews.com. And we want you to call in. I'm pretty sure we'll have some people call in today to talk to me. 813-444-9588. Again, it's 813-444-9588. I hope you guys had an amazing week. If you did not see some of the topics, one of the topics we have today is this Popeye's chicken sandwich. I got it. I got it. I got it. We're going to taste it. Yes, ma'am. Um, But... We're we going to wait a minute to get to that, honey. But make sure you guys share your share this broadcast. <laughs> share this broadcast. Um, I believe it's going to be a great show. And I want you guys to participate. I want you guys to call in and tune in. So please make sure that you guys um, come chat with me. So you guys, you know, I always start off with what I learned in the trap this week. And what I learned in the, tra- in the trap this week is that I have to choose me. I have to choose me. Shout out to my best friend, Chica. Or see them out of raw. See, she always just, you know, has her ways to check on me. Yes, Chica, I made it, girl. I made it. I couldn't text you back because I had to get on my live. But I made it. So her and I was talking, um, and she was in the process of me getting this chicken. Um, this chicken, this famous chicken sandwich. Um, <laughs> ain't, you, ain't you in keto? I was in keto. I, yeah, when I was in Tallahassee. But uh, anyway, so... You have to choose yourself. Uh, this journey that I'm on, y'all know I had the boss, baby. I don't have to go through all of that. I have these businesses. Um, I'm a contractor. I have all these things that I have to manage, right? And in that, in this new journey of me being a mom and with the, with the new journey, there's new challenges. And I have to remember to choose me. It, it's not always pretty and it's not always easy, honey. But I'm so grateful for the last few days and the people that I've been able to, um, I would say the last day and the people that I've been able to kind of reach out to and they can, they're can they able to help me remember who I am. Because it's so easy to forget who you are, especially someone like me, right? Um, and shout out to my mama for helping me redo this little twist thing because... Honey, yesterday I was looking a little peasy, but today, honey, I'm looking a little spiraled, honey. Yes, to my mama. Shout out to Wendy Dispenser. She got the boss baby right now, but she made sure these spirals was on point. But thank you. We gave my mama a round of applause. If you listen to the radio, my mama got a round of applause. But yeah, you have to choose you, and I'm I'm choosing myself, right? And in that, I have to find a new way to be who I know that I am. It's so easy, and I'm telling, you know, if, if you know someone that is, that's about to have a baby or just had a baby or whatever, and whatever side of the fence you're on with that person, please remember to check on them and make sure that they know that they they, they are the, the best person that they are before they had a baby, right? And not saying that that's the only thing, but that's just like a whole nother, it's a, now you have to care for a life. So you're, you have to care for a life and all of the tasks that go along with that, if you had any struggles, if there's anything before that that you were dealing with, it's so much greater now. So it's so easy to forget. For me, it's so easy to forget what I can do and what I'm good at. It's so easy to, for me to forget um, what I've accomplished. So over the last 24 hours, I've been able to um, tap into some people and, and they, they're able to pour back into me and let me know like, girl, do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Right. And so I have to remember to I have to remember to operate that and operate in that. And when I do that, I have to choose myself. Right. I saw the amazing Dr. Veronica Walters today. Today's her birthday. Shout out to Dr. V. And so the baby and I, we were able to um, stop by her office and see her today. And she just kind of like just did something for me. She was just like, girl, do you not know, you know what you have to do? And so I think a lot of times, um, you forget what you have to do for yourself, right? And in choosing me, whatever that is, whatever that time period is, whatever that 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 little bit of time that I want to dedicate to myself or dedicate to my dreams, and I'm saying that to, I'm I'm saying this as it applies to me, but I'm also encouraging everyone else, and I'm gonna say it to you, whatever you want to do, whatever time you want to allot to your dreams, if you want to work on yourself, you want to work on your body, if you want to be keto, honey, if you want to be keto, if you want to eat a sandwich, whatever that is, know that you can choose yourself. I am not the only one that has a lot on my plate. Like, I'm not that person, right? Everyone has 
everything on their plate. It just may be, it may be small to you because you you, know, you don't have to deal with it. It may be a different type of task, but everyone has a whole bunch on their plate, right? So what I'm saying is not foreign. I just, I may have different things that I'm dealing with and the different things that I have to remember. But whatever that means to you, remember to choose yourself. And I think we were talking about this months ago. We were talking about with, with OG Dale when he was on the air. We were talking about working out. A lot of times when you work out, you create a regimen. It causes discipline. And that's something for you. I actually went on a very, very nice walk today. And a guy, um, I was walking in my mom's neighborhood. And he said, oh, girl, I haven't seen you in forever. Where you been? I said, well, you know, I just had a baby. And he was like, you had a baby? When you had a baby? That's about three months ago, about two and a half, three months ago. And he's like, okay, I was wondering why I haven't seen you walking. Of course, now I probably went walking, doing my little 45-minute hour walk, probably three or four months before that. So now we're talking about seven, eight months that he hasn't seen me. But it was a signal. It, it was it was a moment where signal, girl, you got to get back to you, get back to the things that you you were accustomed to, right? Um, and I believe that life will cause us to, to get off track, whether it's you take a new job, you're in school now, you have new responsibilities, um, you maybe you laid off of a job, maybe you're out of school now, maybe you're in out of the military, whatever that may, the case may be, that's going to shake up your life and, and throw you almost, almost a, I guess the, the word would be monkey ranch in your life, whatever, whatever, whatever the word is, what people say, whatever, whatever gets thrown at you, whatever you need to do to get back to where you was, to be back to being a boss, you need to do that. And speaking of being a boss, I am going to be the, sp going to be the speaker of entrepreneurship at Breakfast with the Bosses. On September 21st, if you have not heard of it, it's going to be in Tampa, Florida. I will be one of the speakers there. And I am super excited. Shout out to Hope. Um, she is, Hope is a model. You know, Hope has been, if you, if you don't know Hope, honey, you need to find out who she is. She is this fine chocolate thing, honey. Fine. And I've always admired her, but she has a lot going on in the Tampa Bay area. And now she's moved to New York. She's modeling. Um... And she's going to do this event right here in Tampa called Breakfast with the Bosses. And it's going to be September 21st. And I'm going to be the speaker. I'm going to be the speaker um, of entrepreneurship. And I'm basically just going to be talking about some of the, thank you, thank you, some of the struggles that I may have faced with entrepreneurship and some of the things that, I'm, that I may have been able to overcome. Because this, this journey of entrepreneurship is not easy. It's not for the weak. It ain't for the, for the faint at heart. Well, however you want to say it. It's not for those people, but anyone and everyone, I believe that they have some type of entrepreneurial spirit in some capacity. Speaking of that, when, when you, I don't know where this is coming from, but when you are around entrepreneurs, your job is not maybe, maybe not always to be the lead. You have to know what your role is going to be in an entrepreneur's life. My best friend, Chica, her role is like my, my quality control person, right? And the only reason I thought of that is because I, I spoke to a quality control expert today. But she comes into my life, and so she checks what I have going on, and she makes sure that I am basically achieving the dreams that I want to achieve. She's making sure that I am doing it at a level of excellence and, I'm, and, and, and integrity. And um, that's her role. If I need her to do something outside of that, she'll do it. But she knows her role. I've met so many people that do not know their role in entrepreneurs' lives. This journey is not easy. And it's not anything that's steady. It's so much easier for entrepreneurs to go get a job initially. Because after, you know, someone started telling us what to do too many times and tell us what we can't do and how we're going to have to move and do all this. And then it get real easy. To go, it get real easy to go back out there, right? It get real easy when they start taking up too much of the time and from your dreams, it get real easy to go back out there. But when it comes to a, a, an average life until you make it, right? And it, it may take people years to make it. It may take them years to make it. That's just like music artists. A lot of times, the artists, they'll say, man, I've been in the game 15 years. I've been in the game five years. And, and then they had a big break. Two change. I feel like he had like two careers because he was with Outkast and all of those people. And then he came back like by himself and then he made it. Right? So... Same thing. People are out here grinding. They're trying to make their dreams come true. But it doesn't always happen overnight. It doesn't happen overnight, right? Um, I don't know. I think it was Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola probably only sold like 30 sodas their first year. Coca-Cola only sold 
let's say 30 to 50 sodas their first year. Now they are one of two, two to three biggest brands in the world when it comes to soda. Right? What if they would have gave up? But the person that created Coca-Cola ain't do it by himself or herself. They didn't do it by themselves. They had people around them that was going to be able to support their dreams. Their dream may be sharing something, liking something. Another thing, um, when you're finding your role in when you're finding your role in an entrepreneur's life, it is okay to show public appreciation. I'm going to say that again. It is okay to show public appreciation. Even if someone's doing the same thing you're doing. I cannot stand. I can, And I don't know where it's going to fall at. But anyway, share this. Please share this, this live. Um, I, I cannot stand when someone says, oh, my gosh, I love what you're doing. Oh, my gosh. I, you know, I, I see you. But you won't see them like anything. They won't share anything. Um, and not saying they're going to have to do it every single time you post something or every single time you put something out there. But you should be able to, if you're going to support me privately, you should be able to support me publicly. Especially if you're doing that for other people. If you really rock with me. Now, everyone's not going to rock with you. Everyone's not going to support you. Everyone's not going to believe in what you're doing. They don't have to. They don't have to. They don't owe you that. But for the ones that want to say, they do. Share my broadcast. Share my posts. That's about my business, right? Share my share my posts or my on my Instagram page. That's about what I'm trying, whatever movement I'm trying to create, right? Because some, sometimes it's not always anything tangible. Sometimes people have a movement and they have a brand and they have a business and they have a product or they have a service. If you work with somebody, show them some public appreciation, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a dollar. It doesn't have to be a dollar. Show them some public appreciation. So all that private, oh, I see you. That's nice. I'm with it. But what are you doing to help them grow? What are you doing to publicly show your appreciation? A lot of people do it. And I don't like it. I don't like it. So I'm going to challenge everybody. If you rock with somebody... And you support what they're doing somehow, in some way, whether it's a hair product or they open up a new restaurant or something, or they about to have a grand opening or they about to come out with a shirt line. Even if they're doing something that somebody else is doing, if they would decide to sell hair and you rock with them and you told them that you're proud of them, show them that publicly. Because that share, that like, is really what, we, what got us here, Right? That share, that like, that, and when I say here for the people that are listening on the radio, that's what got us to talk about Popeyes today. Do y'all realize that Popeyes, this Popeyes and chicken and, and Chick Fil A battle thing, we did that. We created this competition. We created this buzz. Why? Because we wanted people. Because we we shared something. We liked something. We got into a conversation on social media. And now Popeye's running out of chicken and bread. Running out of chicken and bread. And they necessarily were not, they was not ready for the influx of um, customers. They were not ready for the influx of business. But they did it. I got my chicken sandwich. When we go on break, I am going to taste this chicken sandwich. And I'm going to let y'all know. I want to taste it in front of y'all, but I don't know how Mr. Derrick going to feel about that. Because he's not here today. But... Share, those, share their broadcast, please. Because they might just be the next Popeyes. They might just be the next Popeyes. Please make sure you show a public appreciation. So those are the things that I learned in the trap this week. Make sure that you are choosing yourself. Do whatever you need to do to choose yourself. When we come back from this break, we're going to tell you, tell you about this sandwich. But make sure you choose yourself and give some people some public support. Know your place in entrepreneur's role. We'll be right back on Trap Talk Radio. Frustrated, gifted, inquisitive, creative. 
business minded, then maybe you need to check the way out. Listen, we have an educational platform that allows for individualized instruction. It's strength-based, project-based, and designed to help your students become the absolute best they can while starting their own business and being an entrepreneur. If you're looking for something different and you need to find a more excellent way, then you need to visit us at The Way. That's The Way, www.thewaetampa.org. Or you can call us at 813-603-7923. We look forward to showing your students a more excellent way at The Way. This is Trina Johnson with Caldwell Banker Real Estate, the real estate agent you've been looking for. If you want top dollar for your home or you're looking to make a purchase, call me at 813-244-6953. Again, 813-244-6953 and let me list your home. In Touch Radio, where you can listen to a cruising flow of smooth soul and jazz. Today's R&B, a fun touch of hip-hop and gospel. All my music on one station. Giving you a buffet of music, news, and entertainment. We're In Touch Radio. You're listening to Trap Talk Radio, Trap Talk, Trap Music, and Trap Possibilities with Madam CJ and Rick D with two C's. Anything else was disrespectful right here on In Touch Radio, Reality Radio, where everyone is a star. Make sure you guys call in and talk to me, 813-444-9588. Again, it's 813-444-9588. And if you haven't already, make sure you listen in to www.intouchnews.com or www.in-touchnews.com. I just tasted a sandwich. I'm not feeling it. I had a spicy one and I was not feeling it. My live, my Facebook live was able to see me bite into it. And um, I'm happy I got a biscuit to hold me over because I didn't like it. It was really big. Okay. The, now the bud was buttery. That's for sure. They have a nice little spicy sauce on it, but it was just a big old chicken breast with no bone. And um, I didn't like how big it was. The meat, the skin of it kept falling off when I was just eating it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I ain't feeling that sandwich, y'all. Send me the chair for the Chick-fil-A. Can y'all Uber me a fresh sandwich, please? Uber me a sandwich. You know, you y'all know, y'all know Chick-fil-A is a preacher's kid, right? You know how they say PK in the church or whatever, so... Popeyes is a new person in the in the house of the in the house of the Lord. They just got saved, <laughs> but PK, uh, you know Chick Fil A is PK. <clears throat> They've been knowing how the traditions work, honey. They know they know when to stand up and when to sit down in church and all of that. Chick Fil A is a preacher's kid. Popeyes is you know still trying to figure it out. Popeyes still trying to figure it out. Popeyes still jamming. Lil Wayne, when they pull up to the church, sir, turn that down. We on church. We on church ground. <laughs> yeah, who remembers that? When they used to be like, oh, we on church ground. You can't do that. You on church ground. Like, it matters. Like, God is not, like, God is going to forgive you or don't see what you're doing or sees what you're doing more just because you on church grounds. We always say that all the time. Don't say that. Or don't do that because you on church grounds. Popeyes don't understand church grounds yet. Popeyes still living they, they you know, living their life and however, however they want to live it. Church grounds or not chick-fil-a sandwich knows the traditions knows when to stand up chick-fil-a the, the chick-fil-a sandwich know all the hymns okay know all the hymns to all the songs <laughs> old and new i am not feeling the popeye's sandwich sorry sorry popeye's julia said i probably just need the fresh one i just excuse me I, I i stood in line 20 minutes for this and it, it was came out fresh now, granted, I waited to eat it on the air, so it probably was sitting in the bag. It probably was sitting in the bag in the wrapper thing, maybe 10 minutes. So if that wasn't fresh, fresh, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I ain't feeling that sandwich. Popeye's can save that. It was honestly too big for me. It was a big old chicken breast with no bone in it, and they put it on some nice bruschetta. I think that's how you say Brush bruschetta. Bruschetta bread, bruschetta bun. <laughs> they put it on bruschetta bun <laughs> and better the chicken sandwich. Now, what did what did pop? What can we learn from Popeyes, honey? 
Y'all call in and tell me what something y'all learned from this whole situation. 813-444-9588. What did we learn from Popeyes? All Popeyes did was take a chicken breast and put it on some buns, and they rebranded it. They rebranded something they've already been doing. Okay. I just had a, an idea. It's a couple people that's probably going to get a call tonight. Okay. Oh, my phone just died. My phone just died. That was good. Oh, my phone just died. So anyway, but they just rebranded. And um, sorry about that. On my on my on the radio because my phone died. That's my Facebook Live. But they they just rebranded what they've already done. We have what? What if we did that? What if we rebranded what we already do? Sometimes what we're doing is not working. Sometimes the way we're doing it is not working. It's okay. We, we don't have to get a new product and we don't have to get a new service, but rebrand it. That's good. So Popeye's, honey, that, ch- that chicken breast, we had a call? Okay, that, ch- that chicken breast is still probably good by itself. Y'all can miss me with the bun, though. the bun and the, the bruschetta bun and the, and the pickles. Miss me with that. I remember when I remember when McDonald's came out with their chicken, they, they Southern style chicken sandwich. Do you remember that? Years ago, they still have it, but um, I don't even know if they still have it. But there was a Southern style chicken sandwich. It was not as quite as good as Chick Fil A, but you could kind of get away with it. What'd you say? Nothing. Nothing's good at Chick. We told y'all <laughs> Chick Fil A is a is PK kid, honey. He's a preacher's kid. But um, that sandwich from McDonald's was all right, but it wasn't as bulky. Like uh, I wasn't feeling that, but. Well, like I was saying before, when you share and when you when you give public praise to your friends and to your family that are doing something, it, they really could be the next. They really could be the next Popeyes. Marketing is a huge thing. I always give praise and give honor to Mr. Ricky Williams. Um, he owns Call Ricky as Ricky. He is a marketing guy. Like he understands. People seeing your name, they know it. They shake you, shaking hands, you kissing babies, you connecting with people. That's going to grow your business. I see his signs everywhere. If you guys, are, you you may not you may, you might be looking at a call Ricky ask Ricky sign and don't even realize you didn't see one of the man signs, right? His signs are everywhere because the people that he have on his team, they're always out there marketing, handing out shirts. He'll invest money in marketing, right? You do that. Now, we don't necessarily have to invest money in tangible marketing. We have digital. We're in the age of digital marketing. But maximize that. Use that. If you guys don't know how to use Facebook ads, Facebook ads, ADS, work. They work tremendously as long as you have the right algorithms. As long as you know the the people that you're marketing to and that you're focusing on. If you have a brand, a business, a movement, use this Facebook and the social and Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, Periscope, whatever you want to use. Use those and YouTube. YouTube is a big one. YouTube will pay you, right? But a part of YouTube is getting people. You can even have sponsors, having more views, right? Having people do commercials on your, on your YouTube page. Those are ways to get money. But I have not seen this. I have not seen a commercial about this chicken sandwich. Maybe I missed it, but I have not seen not one commercial about this chicken sandwich. And yet I stood in line for 25 minutes to get this, this, this mediocre sandwich. 25 minutes to get this mediocre sandwich. It was cool. Some people ain't gonna like that. It, I mean, depends on what you like. You, you want a big old bulky piece of meat. When I eat a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A, I enjoy my little, my little dainty, my nice seasoned, dainty, dainty chicken sandwich. But that's not just too much for me. Call in. Let me know. 813-444-9588. 813-444-9588. I'm trying to be the next Popeyes. But you know what? The thing about it is what you have to be, when it comes to Popeyes and Chick-fil-A, Popeyes was not ready for the success of their product. Yeah, we got, there's actually an Amber Alert out here. We got to be careful. I think it's like it's somebody involved named Cedric. What a coincidence. My name is Cedrica. But make sure you check your phones. And if you can help out with the Amber Alert, make sure that you please do that. Okay, okay, okay. Cedric Barnes. Look at Um, but yeah, yeah. 
if if they they were not ready they was not ready for the um for the influx of customers because they started running out of chicken and they ran out of buns and they ran out of all this stuff people were getting mad people being nasty on on um <laughs> On, on Facebook and all this stuff. And even when, when you go into the stores, people was not happy because they ran out of these sandwiches. They ran out of the sandwiches. So Popeyes, don't be the, be the next Popeyes when it comes to using marketing and advertisement, but don't be the next Popeyes just because you're not ready. Just because you are not ready for the influx of customers. And one thing I've learned from Super, if you don't have inventory, you can't make money. Get ready. Popeye's missed out on money just because they did not have enough equipment. They missed out on money because they ran out of sandwiches. They missed out on money because they ran. They didn't perfect the experience. Experience is important as well. It's mm -hmm. amazing what's happening right now. Like I said, I stood in line for 25 minutes for this sandwich. And I'm watching people. And I'm looking. Now, granted, the one that I went to, no one was nasty. No one was upset about the sandwich. Um, but they was in there waiting. And the, and, the, and the controversy and what everyone kept asking everybody was, are they sold out? Are they sold out? Are they sold out? No, they were not sold out, y'all. Facebook Live, I'm trying to get y'all back up here. My little phone went dead, and I'm trying to set up a prop. Um, could you hand me that, that, that stool? Um, but, yeah, so like I was saying before, if you are ready, if you're going to rebrand, that's all, that's all that Popeye's did. They rebranded their sandwich. If you're going to rebrand, get ready for the success of it. I think a lot of times, and I'm a witness of it as well, we get so nervous that something is not going to work out. And we don't properly, we don't properly prepare for it, right? If you're going to sit up here and launch something like a chicken sandwich and, and, you, and you see the buzz, especially if you can see the buzz. If you see the buzz, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready for the change to come. Get ready for that. I wish Popeyes would not have ran out of sandwiches or whatever, but it's amazing. And and the, the other side of that is somebody like Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is like they they unbothered, honey. I seen an ad on Chick Fil A today. Oh, it popped up on my on my news feed. Chick Fil A was saying if you if you having trouble getting acquainted with the new semester of school, sign up for our new app and you'll get a free breakfast. They don't bother. That also shows us that. Somebody can be doing the same thing that you're doing and they can be successful at it, but that's, that does not take away from what you are successful at. It's not, does not take away from what you need to focus on in your business. Right? Chick-fil-A is like, look, <laughs> and they st look, the funny part about it is they still going to close on a Sunday and they still going to be successful. They still going to be one of the best companies and they're unbothered. I also seen that, um, if y'all haven't not tried it already, that, Chick-fil-A is doing uh, macaroni and cheese. I heard it's pretty good. I have not tried the macaroni and cheese because I was trying to be keto for a minute for like two days. I was trying to be keto. Um, shout out to those people that can be keto. I know I can I can do whatever I put my mind to, right? And I'm 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 joking because of my god brother's watching my live. And I I asked him a thousand questions about keto. What, what can you eat? What can you not eat? What can you this? What can you that? <laughs> <laughs> and he sent me these, he sent me the, you know, a shopping list and all that. And I'm up here on Facebook Live telling me, telling about the, the chicken sandwich that I just ate with bread and all of that stuff. So please forgive me. Um, but anyway, what I was saying is what I want everyone to know is this Popeye's and Chick-fil-A situation is hilarious. I think it's amazing, but I think it also shows us the power of social media. It shows us the power of people. Now, the next level of that, because I've already talked about, I talked about what I think about the sandwich. I told you guys that the when it comes to business, the pros and cons of it. Popeye's wasn't ready for the for the influx. They didn't have the the proper inventory, and they just wasn't ready for the experience. But social media and marketing helped them. Marketing is a huge piece of business, right? The other level of that is what will we do? Um, what will we do? What what would happen if we pour that same energy into our friends and our family's businesses? What would it be if I stood in line 20 minutes or I gave that much energy or I was that determined to support this particular person just like I gave Popeye's $3.99 for that sandwich? Why can't I give this person that that type of energy? I can. If and But, Allie, to your point, right? To your point, Allie, Popeye's customer service. 
we we're probably gonna go there. And Ali's one of the people that that's on my that's on my Facebook Live right now. She's saying what she's saying is Popeyes they need to work on their customer service, right? She's right. They're probably gonna make a bunch of money off of us going there to buy this sandwich, maybe buying a biscuit, maybe buying a lemonade, just to go with a sandwich, just so we can say we tried it. Will we go back though? That's the question. That's what the experience comes in. If the experience is not a one, we probably won't go back. We probably won't go back. Right. But our friends and our family's businesses have to be the same way. Make sure that your experience is top notch. Make sure you get the best that you have the best customer experience. I remember when I first opened my first company, Extensions of Royalty. Shout out to Extensions of Royalty and all the people that were associated with that company. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all your support. Um, when I first opened that company, my, one of my aunts emailed the business email she was just testing me my auntie jessica she was asking about some hair she was testing me and i responded as if i didn't know who she was yes ma'am x y and z we can get you this order da, 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 da. and so when i saw her in person she was like oh you know i was testing you and i said i knew but i needed to that that was i didn't i didn't need to email her and say respond back to her and say hey auntie i got you such and such no she was a customer at that point Right. And we have to remember that without our customers, we have no business. Without our customers, we have no service. Right. We have no products without our followers. We have no movement. We cannot forget that. So we have to always remember that we to give them the, the, the best experience possible. The best, the best experience possible. Right. So another thing that I wanted to talk about when it comes to experience is um, has anybody been for. Have have they been paying attention to the Jay Z deal, Jay Z and NFL? Okay, so I don't know how much time we have before the break, so I may have to cut this segment. Um, we're good. Okay, so before I get out and segment, I'm not going to get too too in depth with it. But some people are not feeling Jay Z right now. They're not feeling Jay Z, um, because they feel like he's a sellout. You know, as as the African American community, we when it comes to these big sports industries, as an in NFL and baseball and NBA, we have not always been as African Americans. We not we have not always been treated the best, or you know, been appreciated. And so, what's been happening over the last few years is um, a lot of the players they have been protesting by kneeling and not standing up when we do the. Um, Star Spano Banner. The am I saying it right? Star Spano. Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. Lord have mercy. I haven't did Pledge of Allegiance in forever. I know you do that every day in high school. And when you were in school, I've not did it in forever. But you know, they would kneel. And so a lot of people, we you know, we we were on this movement where we we're protesting that. So Jay Z just signed a deal to be part owner of a NFL team. And people are not happy about it. Because they feel like, well, how are you still going to support Kaepernick? Kaepernick was one of the main players that, you know, he was playing for the 49ers. And he said, you know, he was going to protest. He did not like the way that black men were being, they were being shot by the police. He didn't like the things that were going on in the community for minorities. And so he took a stand. He would kneel. And so they kind of blacklisted him in the NFL. And so he's not playing anymore. Um, there was actually a lawsuit that that happened recently that was settled this year i tried to find the details of it but i could not find the details of the suit um it was him kaepernick and another guy last name reed but um they basically protested and and boycotted the nfl right so and jay-z was a huge supporter um jay-z was a huge supporter of the national anthem sis <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, girl. I, I finally got it. I finally got it. Um, Jay-Z was a huge supporter of Kaepernick, right? And so people feel some type of way about him being part owner of an NFL team. I feel, I don't feel no type of way about it. Jay-Z is a businessman. Okay. Um, Marilyn, you're right. One of my one of my followers is saying, um, and my god sister, she said, if he's a sellout, what about the players? That is true because they still getting their check. Okay, none of the players they said you know the players that are not boycotting. It, none of them said, "Hey, look, I, I don't want don't, don't pay me, don't pay me." Right? We'll be right back. No one's saying that. Don't pay me. We'll be right back on Trap Talk Radio. Pick a side. Pick a side. 
side. They had not a sellout. Call me. I'll be right back. This is Linda Archie with Tyre Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month, beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me, 1-888-991-2502. See our ad in in touch news or florida sentinel please call me at 1-888-991-2502 the village market at east tampa 3206 north sanchez street been in a car crash call ricky don't know what to do ask ricky we will connect you with a lawyer and doctor experience in auto accident injuries call ricky at 844-361-7425 after an auto accident you have 14 days to seek medical attention you may be in pain so call ricky ask ricky for your best options 844-361-7425 call ricky ask ricky is a legal and medical referral service the lawyers in our network pay to receive referrals when it comes to reality radio, everyone is a star. I know that's right. On your smooth soul and R&B station. On the World Wide Web. Access, Access granted. granted. In Touch Radio. We're back on, y'all. You're listening to Trap Talk Radio, Trap Talk, Trap Music, and Trap Possibilities with Madam CJ and Rick D with two C's. Anything else is disrespectful right here on Trap Talk Radio, on In Touch Radio, Reality Radio, where everyone is a star. Make sure you guys call in 813-444-9588. Again, it's 813 9588 And we're talking about Jay-Z. Is he a sellout? Is he a sellout? I say no. He's a businessman. Somebody on my Facebook Live just said that Venus and Serena became part owners of an NFL team. If I had the money, I would be part owners of an NFL team. Trust and believe. People do not understand that these people are making... Jay-Z is a billionaire. Okay? Jay-Z is a billionaire. And... uh, what, what they also have to understand is sometimes in order for you to actually make a difference in it, you have to be in, in certain circles, right? That's why they tell us you need to go vote, get into get into in the political political arenas so you can try to have a voice, right? If we did have more black NFL owners, some things may change. Some things may change. But I don't think that he is a sellout. I believe that he is a businessman. He is a billionaire. He is not... He, this, this man did not become a billionaire from not making the right financial decisions. And he didn't become a billionaire by really caring about what we had to say about him. His whole family, that's how they, that's how they, that's how they made it. That's how they set up. If you look at the Nose Carter clan, honey, they don't care about what we got to say about them. That's why they don't even let us know half of the stuff that's going on in their lives. Because they don't, they don't want our opinion. It's not going to change anything. But it's sad that we that some people believe that Jay-Z is a sellout because he bought an NFL team. Get your life. If you had the money to even, this is the thing. If you had the money to even sit at the table with some of these people, you would do it. That's just like people can say that other people are a sellout, but they quit to go take a picture with a celebrity. They quit to take a picture with this particular person. Oh, I seen such and such. Nah, nah, playboy. Nah, baby girl. Don't do that. Don't do it. So if you had the money or if you were in that situation, if you could even ha- be have a piece of that conversation, would you? You would. I would. I, like I said, I, and I said again, if I had the money, honey, it's some things that I'm thinking about now that if I had the money for it, I would do it. Right? It's some business ventures I'm looking at right now, and I'm like, ooh, some people ain't going to like if I did that. But, but they have to get out of their own minds. We have to stop thinking about um, be, be more like Jay Z. Stop thinking about what other people are gonna say about your business decision and what you got to do for your family. Now his three children are gonna be 
the the legacies of an NFL team. Like, <laughs> where they do that at? But y'all call and let me know. 813-444-9588. 813-444-9588. I want to hear your opinion. And then I'm going to ask this question. If you could buy something or if you can go into something that may be controversial to your culture, maybe controversial to what people may think or whatever, what would that be for you? What would you buy? What would you invest in? Right? Because we all know that this the NFL business, that whole organization is a multi-billion dollar organization right he'll be a fool to not have, to not take that uh, that opportunity i wish we can do the numbers on and, and i may i may do i may do that research before next week do the numbers on <laughs> how many how much money a owner get from a game all the tickets that they sell all the branding all the marketing all the sponsors all of this stuff it is a business. That's why that that's why the owners of the NFL team have so much have so much say and have so much play in what's going what's going on because it is a business and because there's money there. These people are not just in these positions for no reason. Jay Z is not a fool. He's not a fool. <laughs> and the thing about it is, what people what what kills me is that people so quickly forget Jay Z has done so much for our community when it comes to these riots and um situation that go on that almost that are oppressing african americans jay-z and beyonce a lot of times they're not they're not saying anything publicly but they are spending their money they have spent hundreds and thousands of dollars if not millions on getting people out of jail when these when these i, I remember when ferguson was happening five years ago they was bailing people out of jail bailing people out of jail they have the documentary on trayvon martin and what happened with him? Jay Z let that. They they're actually gonna release a documentary called Free Meek, and they're gonna talk about the injustice about Meek Mills and what happened with him. He does a lot for the community, so we can't just x someone off just because they make a business decision that we don't understand or can't comprehend. A lot of it is that you can't even comprehend it. We can't even comprehend it. Let me see what she said. Was eye opening. Okay, I haven't even seen this. I am gonna go watch it. You said it was eye opening. I'm gonna go watch that documentary. Um, but we can't even comprehend some of the decisions that that these people make, and yet we want to have an opinion about it. Half of the people that's having an opinion about this are not even thousandaires. Become a thousandaire. Okay, <laughs> because. We're, Become a thousandaire. Then maybe you can become a millionaire. He is a billionaire. He is he is about 10 tiers up. Some of us are just hundredaires. Okay? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> They're just hundredaires, right? Please, become a thousandaire. Then have a conversation about something that's on your level. Because he's a billionaire by himself. And he's making billionaire decisions about his future and his legacy. And I really believe I really believe that Jay-Z, he knows how to play the game. The fact that he turned down performing at the Super Bowl and now was a part owner of an NFL team, that's not done by mistake. Let's not forget that. Let's not forget that. Right? He didn't do that by mistake. He did it on it was very strategic. And I believe because JC and what he showed us, because he's going to be part on whatever team he is, he's going to be associated with whatever teams and teams that he's going to be associated with. I guarantee you, he's going to be in there switching some things around. They're going to be in there switching some things around. Before you know what I'm telling y'all, Jay, they only going to be able to play um, Jay Z music at the games, <laughs> or or people that um, that are on his label, Rock Nation, something. He gonna have exclusivity to something, or they only gonna be able to live stream the games on title. <laughs> they not crazy, I'm telling you. They not. I don't know if we said this on the air before, but I'm gonna remind y'all that Jay Z and Beyonce both they both invested in Uber. They both invested in Uber, something that we all day to day us hundred airs, okay. Hundred airs we all use on a day to day basis. They invested in Uber. Uber is one of the biggest chunks of Jay Z's investments that help that help him to be a billionaire. 
The same with Beyonce. They make smart business decisions. And you know what? I'm saying that and I'm I'm hoping I'm speaking to myself. Like God help me to be wise in whatever business decision decision that I need to make for my future so I can have longevity success. They invested in Uber. So my little my little fee that I that I pay when I go get an Uber, honey, I you know, I might have contributed to 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 Blue Ivy House. You know, because they have shares in, in the company. So they're businessmen and women. So we can't, we can't, like I said before, become a thousandaire. And <laughs> then you can start maybe trying to understand why Jay-Z makes certain decisions. But all of us hundredaires, because I'm going to be a millionaire in 2020. On my vision board, it says you'll be a millionaire by the time you're 30. I'm declaring that in the name of Jesus that I'll reach millionaire status by the time I am 30 years old. Right. And it doesn't say it has to be before I'm 30 or when I turn 30, but year 30, that's what I'm declaring. I'm putting this out here publicly because I wanted to be able to come back and I can say, you know, I said that and it manifests. That's what the energy that I'm putting out. That's the energy I'm putting out. Right. I'm be a millionaire in, in, in the year 2020. Right. So once I get there, I'm going to be looking at some stuff differently because I'm going to be a millionaire right now as I'm a hundred, I'm a hundred air, <laughs> a thousand air, whatever, you know, I, I got to stay right here. I got to stay right here. Right. I can't be judging nobody that's a millionaire, a billionaire, because there's certain things I don't understand. They got problems that I don't understand. Right. So for all of you hundred airs and even dollar airs, okay, dollar airs. Dollar heirs, I'm going to just say that if you a dollar heir, don't say nothing to me. <laughs> dollar heirs, don't say nothing to me, okay? Stay over there. Stay over there. Don't call nobody a sellout. Don't be mad about nothing. None of that. Get to 100 heir before you start talking to anybody. All of the dollar heirs, get to 100 heirs before you start talking to anybody. Once, and then once you become 100 heir, I need you to start, for, you, that's when you can start having conversations with people, right? Have conversations with a couple people so you can figure out strategically what you need to do to get to that 100 heir and 1,000 heir level, okay? Do that. <laughs> do that. <laughs> I'm showing out. I'm happy you guys are watching. I hope you guys are sharing this broadcast, honey, because I need to put that. You know what? I need to put that on the shirt. I said it first. If anybody take my sayings, I will sue you. I need you guys to understand that. I said it first. Madam CJ Cedrico Spencer said 100 air, 1,000 air. Before you get to that level, you got to work on some stuff. I don't know how I'm put on the shirt, but I'm putting on the shirt. And if anybody try to take it, <laughs> you're going to get a season assist from my attorney. Don't take my ideas. DJ. Don't take my ideas. I thank you guys for listening. We'll be right back. Oh my God. We having that much fun? The show's over with? Oh, the DJ's trying to kick me off, y'all. He's trying to kick me off. I'm going to catch you guys next week. I appreciate you guys for listening in. We had a great show today. Thank you guys for listening to Trap Talk Radio. We'll be back next Thursday right here on InTouch Radio, Reality Radio, where everyone is a star.